What's going on everybody? It's me, Super the Best I can Explain Bros here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this NECA Godzilla figure. Now this suit, I'm gonna say suit, is from the 1985 film The Return of Godzilla. And this was the first film in the Heisei series of films. And this was the first uh, Godzilla suit in the Heisei series. It isn't one of my personal favorites. I just think the head looks a bit off. That's just my personal opinion. A lot of people do like this suit. I like the later Heisei suits, but I just don't like this particular suit. But with the figure, this is 2.0. This is the remake of the original figure. But I don't think they changed anything. I just think they just repackaged it differently. And looking at the actual figure, uh, for the sculpt of this figure... It looks very accurate to the actual film. But I, I do have some problems with the sculpt. Uh, the big one, if we look right over here, uh, the chest doesn't really align in the center. Uh, and if you turn it to make it align, it just looks very weird. And the dorsal plates don't align. Clearly designed to be like that. And it just really annoys me. That's just something that I have a personal problem with. But other than that, I personally i'm fine with the sculpt for paint I, I think they did a pretty good job there is a paint error right there though as well as right on the eye uh hopefully you could somewhat see it right there yeah you can somewhat see it. yeah you can see it right there right there and and some of the mouth paint does bleed into the actual figure but other than that it's pretty good especially with the dorsal plates they always do a phenomenal job with the dorsal plates. It looks amazing as always. Now for articulation, let's start with the head, why not? So uh, there is a ball joint at the head and on the base of the neck and can look down about that far, which is pretty deep and about that high up. Now, see, here's another issue I have with sculpt is that you can't really put the head up all the way unless you push it up where you have to realign these two to make it move up that's just I, I think that's a very serious issue because it limits articulation unless you force it the mouth does open as well there is a ball joint at the arm a bend at the arm and a swivel and can go side to side uh, for the torso there is a ball joint there actually but you can't really move up or down due to this design of the sculpt so you really can just swivel for the legs there's a ball joint at the leg can go out about that far and can do a full kick except to there so it's not a full kick it's almost a full kick there is a bend at the knee right there could go about that far there's a swivel here as well it's also there's a ball joint there's a ball joint here 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 ball joint here as well it's very tight here though in a ball joint here and the rest is a bendy wire and i recommend not moving this as in a lot of positions because after a while the bendy wire in here will break and will pop out of the rubber mold and that's not fun because it ruins the sculpt and it ruins the figure and overall it just isn't that fun but other than that you you can't really get any good pose unless you do the bendy wire and but i really wish neca always had ball joint i wish they do tails more like what they do now looks very good and it just moves very organically and i just personally really like that compared to the bendy wire lastly we need to look at the packaging so hold on a second and here's the packaging next to the actual figure and it's pretty cool packaging uh we got the poster here we got the logo here we got crap i don't care about here uh, poster crap and then a whole bunch of images of Godzilla and a uh, little bio on the film. The reappearance of the world's most dangerous monster 30 years after it destroyed Tokyo risks a catastrophic showdown between the US and Russia with Japan caught in the middle. With Godzilla in the heart of Tokyo, something must be done to stop it. But will Japan's defense vehicle, the Super X, be enough to stop Godzilla's rampage or is there another way? Now, for size comparisons, let's make him look up as far as he can. Here it is next to 1964? Yeah, I believe it is 64. Uh, it's, it's the Godzilla versus the thing, uh, Godzilla, and it is very small surprisingly here it is next to earthrise optimus prime and it, it's close it's getting there it's getting there transformers netflix war for cybertron hound and it's taller obviously town isn't that big of a guy overall i highly recommend you purchase this guy right now before they're out of stores forever and they're going to cost a lot of money and yeah i highly recommend picking this guy up to complete your godzilla collection and yeah i will see you guys later hopefully you did enjoy the video
and I will be